This day has been a long time in the making. Today is Sunday and tomorrow, Monday morning, we are flying to Hawaii. The reason that this is such an epic day is because two and a half years ago, we became friends with our close friends, Matt and Taylor. And practically since the first time we met them, all they would talk about is how amazing Hawaii was. And they just have epic stories. So it's taken two years and a pandemic in the middle for us to finally get the opportunity to go to Hawaii with Matt and Taylor. So I'm hopping in the bed, one more sleep until we're meeting Matt and Taylor Katie and Preston in Hawaii. See you there, guys. in Los Angeles. Just a quick 45 minute layover, a six hour flight to Hawaii. And just like that, we're on the island of Oahu. And we are here at Pearl Harbor National Monument. I know coming to see Pearl Harbor isn't anything new or exciting for most people probably, but I am a huge history nerd. So this is like a dream of mine to be here. So we're about to go in there, the weather is perfect, and we couldn't be more excited to go check out the USS Arizona. But real quick, let's address the elephant in the room. I have a humongous cold sore on my lip. I just wanted to put that out there. Of the 335 survivors of the Arizona, we are down to our final two. I think the coolest part that I learned was knowing that survivors from the USS Arizona can have their ashes put in the ship when they die. The most recent person to have their ashes placed in the Arizona was in 2019. So I just think that's really cool that the survivors can be placed back with their crewmates that died so long ago. So if you have a chance, you're out here on Oahu, just come out here, spend an afternoon and give it a chance. It's pretty awesome. It's been a few hours since we were at Pearl Harbor. We went swimming at the beach a little bit, nothing too crazy, just trying to kill some time. Matt and Taylor's flight gets in in about 45 minutes, so we are about to head back to the airport to pick them up, and we are so, so, so excited to be able to see them. We haven't seen them in like six months, but we're also really excited to see Katie and Preston. Let's not forget them. All right, to the airport. What's up? Hello. 
Oh, I missed you guys. What's up, Brent? Classic Brent. Dropping a dish. Hello. Over the next 24 hours, we spent time catching up and getting to know the island of Oahu a little better. Our first full day here, we visited the stunning Waimea Bay, where we swam with the friendliest turtle, jumped off the nearby cliff until our feet could take no more, and relaxed in the warm sand, having no difficulty slipping deep into vacation mode. Later that evening, we drove into town to get a much needed sweet treat at the local banana stand. After we quickly made the bananas disappear, we ordered some delicious takeout that we would then bring with us to a nearby beach to devour while we watched our first Hawaiian sunset. Tomorrow will be our first venture day where we'll be taking on the hike known as China Man's Hat. We just drove about 20 minutes from Kahuku and we are here in the parking lot to swim Chinaman's Hat. This is a swim slash hike where you swim probably about, I don't know, looking at it, 300, 400 meters out to an island and then you hike the island and there's an epic view at the top. Surrounding us right now are these jagged mountains just covered in vegetation. It truly looks like we are straight from the scene of Jurassic Park. And Matt was saying that one of the Jurassic Parks of the Jurassic Worlds were filmed right over there. So we're in a cool spot. We're excited to do this little adventure and let's get a swim in. Say hi. Hi. We are taking a quick pit stop at Laie Point. I don't think the camera does it justice how beautiful this is. The water is so blue. It's just got a deep blue that's like unexplainable. It's amazing. So we're gonna do some quick cliff jumping here and do some swimming and then go to the next place. After a super busy day with a lot of swimming, cliff jumping, and hiking, we are at a food truck area. It's in Kahuku. Not sure if it really has a name. There's quite a selection all around us of different kinds of foods that you can eat, sample, taste, get them all if you want. We are about to head over to Nelly's Tacos. I'm craving some fish tacos, so that's what I'm going to get. It's filming. Just no, I can't. No, just go, do it. Go, Katie, go. <laughs> exactly. I'm thinking about it. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> All right, guys. So <laughs> Unfortunately, Nelly's Tacos is only accepting cash right now for whatever crazy reason. So we are on the hunt for a different spot. For whatever weird reason, every food truck in this little area only accepts cash. So we are going to head to Seven Brothers, which is like a staple of Hawaiian food. In Provo, where we're from, there's a Seven Brothers and it's always packed. My friend Christina actually works there. So we're coming to your stomping grounds, Christina. So you much. and me alone. You and me alone. Inside of our I got the Shem burger. I got a butt ton of guacamole here. Looks great. Let's try it. Oh. That's how you know it's got plenty of guac. We're in Hawaii. Five seconds. COVID doesn't live here. No. If you want to be clean, don't eat this burger. <laughs> We attempted to go surfing earlier. I suck, so I didn't want to make you watch me do that. So now we're at a super popular hike called Crouching Lion. Apparently it's super steep and there's supposed to be epic views at the top. We got George of the Jungle over here. And then we just have George over there. Hi, I'm George. Good man. Gotta, gotta get a hold of something. <laughs>
Someone's like currently from... getting flown out. They must have got hurt. Do you see that? That's pretty scary. We just finished the crouching lion hike just off the shore and it's freaking sick. Like so far here. <laughs> it's really steep if you can't tell right now. But it's been my highlight so far. But the way down is super steep. So you're crawling pretty much. To finish off a full day of hiking, swimming, surfing, we are here at North Shore Tacos where we're gonna feast. I'm starving. I'm obsessed with fish tacos. Ever since I went to California last summer, I had some fish tacos there that were absolutely to die for. So I've been chasing that taste ever since. So I have high expectations from this place. Are the fish tacos, are they grilled or fried? Grilled. grilled, okay. I'm gonna get the fish tacos then too. I'm just gonna say, here's the part of the kitchen. That's good where it all goes down. Here's the cold side. We even got the storage. You know, it's a really nice worker. Yeah. Okay. Stevie, she's our favorite. Kaylee, our hardest worker. <laughs> the drive through that doesn't work. The drive through that doesn't work, everybody. I'm not allowed in. And this is his my throne. Mind. My mind. Wow, that's awesome. 11.50 for the uh, sweet pulled pork. Super good. You get a bunch of, you know, garnish on the side, bunch of guac on the side. Um, I'm already digging in.